uh, music is a powerful tool that can help boost a person's mood as well as alter a person's state of mind. Uh, for centuries, music has played an important role when it comes to our ability to cope through life's greatest highs and lows. Now, in recent years, research suggests music can help combat depression and anxiety, along with a host of other mental health issues. Music therapy is one technique administered, administered by healthcare professionals to help support people as they strive to improve and gain control over their mental health functioning and well-being. Well, this is one of the reasons why the Straw School of Music is set up to help young children not just to live uh, their lives, but to ensure that uh, music helps to improve their innovation, their dreams, and all of that. And it helps to nurture them on how to use uh, that instrument as a tool to better their society. Uh, let's take a look at some performances of students at, at the Straw School of Music. Well, I'm glad to be joined now by the director of Strauss School of Music, Golda Obi, who will take us through the world of music and how it helps in therapeutic um, healing of the mind. Uh, so good to have you. Uh, let's talk about how you're helping to groom these young kids to understand the value of music, and not just noisy music, but music that's well coordinated, that's uh, a mixture of orchestra. I mean, having several instruments in an organized format to help heal uh, the body and um, the soul, yes. creating the comfort for the soul, if um, I may say. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, music is indeed, you know, food for the soul. A lot of Children nowadays live in a high-stress environment, um, much more than you and I in our, in our time. You know, they're, they're, there's so many things that they have to contend with, you know. Their parents working harder than they ever were, so the comfort at home is not the same. Um, the pressure, because there are not that many good schools, so there's so many children trying to get in. So they are under tremendous pressure. And whether we like it or not, their mental health is, is affected. And what is the best way to help ease that stress? Children sometimes withdraw and, and you want an outlet where they can feel comfortable, they can feel confident, they can feel safe. You know, it's different dealing with a music in, musical instrument is very different from dealing with a, a, a human being, your instrument is your first love. And, and so when you are hit by the problems of life, you, you want to go in and just talk to that instrument and just be with that. And, and my job is a very fulfilling job because you, you find that um, children that play instruments have much higher cognitive skills. You know, um, I, I say that music is the bridge between the arts and the sciences. And so you find that it doesn't affect them negatively. You find that it, it helps increase their, their thinking. Uh, at Strauss, we've been at this for, what, 15 years? We've probably um, passed about four to 500 children have passed through Strauss over yeah, and, uh, all I'm those sorry years. to interject there. Yeah. How are parents helping to support your dreams of you know, making sure that kids like this are given the best in terms of music knowledge and all of that because we have this attitude among i mean especially wealthy nigerian parents that keep telling you that i mean why should my son be a musician and all of that except for now that we begin to see i mean superstars coming out of music and all of that how cooperative are parents i think it's it's an issue of understanding um the fact that your child studies music does not necessarily mean that your child is going to be a 
performing musician, a performing mm -hmm. artist. I, we have um, children that have gone on to do fantastic things. I remember one of my students, the son of uh, Frank Weke, mm -hmm. uh, and Frank was very, very supportive of this young man. And then he, he went on to school. I think he's doing some form of engineering, but he plays the piano beautifully. So where you have parents that um, support they do but a lot of parents still doubt however what i tell parents is covid has taught us that we're going into a new era the 21st century is almost done the children of the future are going to increasingly work away from a group they're going to work from home so skills such as emotional intelligence um, their, their happiness and their ability to find joy within themselves bec become more and more necessary so things like music if you're not working in an office and you don't have people to sit down and joke with then what do you do when you're stressed but if you play an instrument you just sit down with your instrument and you can release very interesting so it's, it's, it's very interesting tell us yeah. how therapeutic music can be especially for these young ones because some parents will also tell you that they are too young i mean to be focusing to be having stress what do they do just go to school read and all of that and uh, parents go to look for the money and all of that. So they shouldn't be facing any stress at that young age. And I think that the, the, the challenge is that we need to educate parents more. Mm -hmm. um, you can have mental health issues at a, at, at a very early age. And it does start at a very early age. We just don't realize it. That person who is always flying off the hook and getting angry that child who walks up to another child and gives the child a slap, they are all stressed. But because we feel all oh, their children, we don't pay attention and recognize that there's, there's those mental health issues. Music therapy is very, very good for uh, helping children to deal with problems. I mean, for teenagers, um, we have a lot of teenagers dealing with all sorts of things because the way we were brought up and the world that they're in is so different. And even we, the parents, we don't understand and they don't want to talk to us. Yeah, and that's why they engage in substance exactly. abuse. Here exactly. And now, where you have a child who is writing lyrics, you're more likely to find what your child feels from the lyrics they're writing you're more likely to find what they feel from the kind of music. So when your child is playing something mellow, it can give you some insight into, uh, into how they feel. And if they're really like going at it, that can tell you how emotional they are. So it's really important, especially with teens, especially with, with the drug problems that we're facing in our society, in our communities, you know, I can't overemphasize. And sometimes we feel, we think that um, when you see a performing artist, they must be rough. You have to understand that music and drama go together. <laughs> a lot of these indeed. people act out for marketing purposes. It's not like they're crazy. Mm. They're really extremely intelligent, intelligent. people. Yeah. I mean, Strauss School has produced performing artists who've uh, gone on to, to make a lot of money from music. And uh, tell us how expensive it can be to actually enroll in, in, in good music schools like Strauss. Because some people may say, I mean, it looks elitist because they don't have the money to afford to be in a Strauss school of music. Um, I think that what we've tried to do over the years and certainly post-pandemic is to come up with programs that um, are more inclusive. Mm -hmm. in, in the early, in the early, um, uh, in the 90s and that, it was very elitist, but the point is there's more need and we have to respond to that need. Um, and and uh, alongside Strauss Music, we have Strauss Prep School. Now, you know, Strauss Prep School is what I would call a, a performing arts prep. We're big on music, we're big on drama, we're big on language because we think that children should be bilingual. So in Strauss Prep School is a bilingual school. So music uh, goes into that. And so you can enter that, don't have enough, uh, that time. time. Yes. Uh, but just one quick question. Why is it that parents always shy away from asking their kids to enroll in art courses? There's still that focus on um, engineering, science, mathematics, and when you mention music, they say it adds, and uh, it's not so lucrative. There's something I always say, show me a Fortune 500 MD 
that is a first class in math. It doesn't happen. Interesting. For you to <laughs> employ people, you have to be creative. Mm. And you know, the creatives are the ones who come up with the solutions. And so I don't understand why parents don't encourage creativity in their children. Because that ability to multitask and be creative is what lends you to be a leader in the future. Interesting indeed, uh, Golda Obi. I wish I had more time to actually talk about this therapeutic session. But you've just given me some very interesting points, especially for those who want their kids to lead Fortune 500 companies. Well, the secret has been unleashed here. <laughs> you just need to ensure that you give your kids the right opportunity to be creative in whatever fields that they find themselves. Well, that's how it's been for this edition of the Arise Interview, and we must thank you so much, Golda, for being on the show. Do join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Soma Sambo.